Right, I'm in guy post. And as you can see, there's a big cell tower up here. And this is the radiation. And it's right next to allotment. So many people come here and they get exposed to that. So that's tower number one. Right, onto tower number two. Cell tower number two. There's one there. Just getting closer to the tower. Very high rains from this tower. It's one of the new style ones. Now this is a public area and many people walk past this one every single day and there's houses across here It's a library, the chip shop a bit of grass, no fence around this cell tower And that's the reading, it's actually maxing out the meter. It's actually going to 6,000 uh, millivolts. That's actually illegal. So guys, if you want to complain about this, that's the number. This is actually illegal. Illegal amount of radiation coming out. Absolutely shocking. And this, my friends, I'll show you exactly where it is. It's a path. People walk past here every day next to this monstrosity. See the radiation as I'm walking past this? Six thousand millivolts going through your body on a public footpath. Go past it again. Absolutely diabolical. I think you should start uh, lobbying the council if you live in the guy post. There's a park bench here. Park bench right next to a cell tower. What's the radiation? Sit down. This is a park bench and guy post next to a cell tower, and it's peaking at 3000 millivolts. Right next to it was 6000 on the path going past. Unacceptable. And as you've as you seen there before, 
There's readings from the other cell tower. This is the centre of guidepost. This is absolutely disgusting. Poor people of Guy Post. What the hell is happening here? Anyway, I've turned my meter off, so I'm going to go to cell number t um, cell tower number three in a minute. Right, I've left uh, cell tower number two, and I'm across the road from it, and the readings are still very high. And there's a row of houses here. And there's tower number one. You've just seen tower number two. That's my husband. Absolutely shocking. Right, I'm at cell tower number three. And guy post. And it's a very tall one. There's actually birds on the top of it. They're actually getting very confused and they get drawn to the tower. So I'm just going to show you the amount of radiation. I can't really see that because the sun, but it's uh, it's up to 300 millivolts and it's peaking at 1000. And there's a bus stop here on the opposite side of the road of the tower. So when you're waiting for the bus, you're getting uh, irradiated from this tower across the road. the road and this is a public footpath And there's no safety warnings here at all to tell you to stay away. It's absolutely huge.
very high radiation from this mast. And it's right next to a bus stop. And guess what the readings are next to the bus stop? So I'm actually in the bus stop here and sometimes you'll be here for about half an hour, an hour if you miss a bus, what have you. And this is the amount of radiation that's hitting you right next to the bus stop. I don't know about you but um, I don't think this should be allowed and I think people in Guy Post should be fighting the council and fighting the uh, telecommunications industry for allowing this amount of radiation it's absolutely diabolical Right, as you've just seen, I um, did a trip to Guy Post I went to, there's three um, cell tower masts there mobile phone masts um, and you've just seen the amount of radiation and uh, me walking past the bus station, sorry bus stop, um, taking readings inside the bus stop as uh, walking past um, the tower uh, on a public uh, footpath and the amount of radiation there um, and also the one at the centre of town uh, next to your, your laundrette you know, uh, next to the centre where the shop is and obviously one next to the um, the gardens where people come and do the gardening um, allotment and the amount of radiation there and the whole of uh, Guy Post, um, especially the centre of Guy Post is absolutely saturated in radiation and it's absolutely horrendous. Um, so I mean, before anybody comments, I would ask you to please read all the links inside um, of the description um, and all the studies that tells you that this is actually very dangerous um, and the problem is that um, the world the world health organization you know there's people in the world health organization who deals with this and their industry um their industry insiders um, I don't know the full details but the problem is with um, having people in the telecommunications industry working in the WHO, the World Health Organization, they set the standards and the, san the standards that they set are actually 20 years out of date um, and they only deal with thermal effects uh, and there's thousands upon thousands of um, peer-reviewed studies um, that actually tell you about the uh, effects that are non-thermal and um, as you can see underneath um, in the descriptions you'll be able to see for yourself um, the effects of non-ionizing radiation and it's absolutely horrendous for health and well-being it affects all aspects of your health you know um, but please do your own research. Look at um, non-industry funded research. It's got to be non-industry funded because like the asbestos and the thalidomide and the cigarettes and stuff, it was all insider funded, industry funded, and they often pay for positive results, ignoring the detrimental felt effects. And it's just basically greed. It fuels this industry. And, um, and I got to chat to um, a few nice people um, after I finished recording and um, showed them the meter and explained to them that this is actually illegal and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be allowed and in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out some documents just an A4 page um, double-sided with links for them to look at themselves and I'm going to go to that area I went to and I'm going to put these through the letterboxes of them people who live there because they've got a right to know because it's very toxic. In fact, one of the people I was chatting to said he was suffering 
sleep problems, and insomnia is one of the main uh, the, fa um, the one of the main effects of microwave radiation is uh, insomnia, anxiety, um, depression, heart palpitations, heart arrhythmia, skin problems, skin rashes, uh, ADHD is linked to it. So does autism, and it's this radiation is very dangerous for. Um, pregnant women um, because obviously the baby inside of the tummy there's no protection for the baby so this radiation attacks um, attacks the mitochondria attacks the DNA um, it's actually um, absolutely devastating and the problem is um, it attacks the eggs in your child's uterus and it attacks the sperm and it attacks the whole aspect of, of life really and um, it also attacks the wildlife, it attacks the uh, the birds and the bees because they, they can't navigate with um, this um, smog in the air, they can't see and they get very confused so there's more studies and done the description about the effect on animals and birds and what have you so Please um, educate yourself about this and also what I would do is um, get in touch with the council, you know, print out the documents if you have to underneath and take it to the council um, and get quite a few people on side because you shouldn't be living in a, a town um, that's toxic, it's really not good for you. And, and also it reduces the house prices as well because these are mobile phone towers, nobody wants to live next to one. So yeah, do your research and um, see you on the next one.